Greetings and salutations, my fellow math enthusiasts and students of all things mathematical. My name is Sean Spartan, and this video is the first in a series I am making about figure it numbers, which are numbers that relate to certain geometric shapes in two or higher dimensions. In this video, I will introduce the triangular numbers and discuss their relationship to the square numbers that most of us are familiar with. Before we introduce triangular numbers, let's start with square numbers. Now, we were taught in school that the square numbers, or perfect squares, are the positive integers raised to the second power. But this is just a formula to calculate the nth square number, which I will write as Sn. For example, if I asked you for the tenth square number, you would say 100, which is 10 raised to the second power. In fact, every multiplication table contains a list of square numbers along the main diagonal. The square numbers up to 100 are listed below and are probably very familiar to most of you. However, what square numbers represent visually are the number of unit objects arranged in a square of length n. There are n rows with n items in each row, so there are n times n total objects. However, what would happen if we decided to use a different shape instead of the square? Well, the triangle is the simplest polygon, so let's consider the number of objects arranged in an equilateral triangle. I will call Tn the nth triangular number. Notice that given any triangle which represents a triangular number n minus 1, I can calculate recursively the nth triangular number. In fact, the nth triangular number is just the previous triangle number plus n. Well, that's good for a recursive identity, but what if we wanted an explicit formula for the nth triangular number? Notice that Tn is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to n. So Tn is the sum of positive integers from 1 to n. And there is a famous formula that can be proved with induction for this specific sum. The sum of integers from 1 to n equals n times n plus 1 divided by 2. This will be our explicit formula for the nth triangular number. Now I'd like to show an identity that relates the triangle numbers to the square numbers. Given any two consecutive triangular numbers, their sum will be a square number. More specifically, for any n at least 2, tn minus 1 plus tn is equal to n squared, which is the nth square number, sn. The proof of this identity using algebra is fairly straightforward. You plug in our definitions of triangle numbers and then simplify. So tn minus 1 is equal to n minus 1 times n divided by 2. And similarly, tn is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Now we have a common denominator of 2, so we can combine the fractions into 1 and then factor out the n in the numerator. The 1's cancel, leaving us with 2n squared over 2, which after canceling out the 2's, leaves us just n squared. So the sum of the n minus 1 and nth triangle numbers is just the nth square number, Sn. Now I'd like to share a more visual proof, because for me at least, it helps me understand more of what's going on here. Remember that to get from tn minus 1 to tn, I just add another row of n objects to form the larger triangle. In other words, tn is just tn minus 1 plus n. Also, if I draw the nth square number as an array of objects with n rows and n columns, I can divide the square into true triangles along the diagonal. The smaller triangle represents tn minus 1, while the larger triangle is tn. So we see right away that n squared is equal to tn minus 1 plus tn, and no algebra was required. So now that we have seen a relationship between the square and triangular numbers, it's natural to ask, are there any numbers that are both square and triangular? Well, of course, aside from the number 1, which is both triangular and square. Here is a list of small triangular and square numbers, with numbers appearing on both lists in bold. In fact, there are infinitely many square triangular numbers. This is because given any square triangular number, I can always find a larger square triangular number. Specifically, if Tn is a square triangular number, 
then t 4n times n plus 1 is also a square triangular number. To prove this, suppose tn is square. In other words, tn is the nth triangular number, and it equals k squared for some k. We also have that tn is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. This is from before. So plugging in 4n times n plus 1 into our formula and simplifying, we get that t 4n times n plus 1 is equal to the square of 2 times k times 2n plus 1. This means it is not only a triangular number, but a square number as well. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment.